Hey there folks and welcome to another Factorio Reddit Weekly. I'm Exterminator and as always thank you for joining me for looking at the top posts in this previous week here. Uh, we're going to start off with this one. Looks like something with uh, burner miners. This Is this how everyone starts coal production? Uh, not quite. The concept is similar. Uh, there's just the build that is simpler than this and does not require the boxes or the inserters. And I'm sure someone will state it. Um, it's right here. So I've done multiple tutorials like showing this. Um, but yeah, you just point the miners into each other. Uh, and then, I mean, so the advantage to this is they say that it's not limited by 50 coal. That would be the case if you point the miners into each other. Um, personally, I just build a bunch of miners, then I don't really care if it's limited to 50 coal, because I just have, like, 20 miners doing it. Um, but yeah, so so you would basically just put, so you would put, like, this miner where this chest and inserter is, so this mines directly into it, and then just put this one right in front of this one, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but th this is not bad, by any means. Anyone have an idea on how to deal with this? It's far away from me and my friend's factory, but we are also not that advanced. Oh, that's a big base. Holy moly. I mean, I'd avoid it possible, but it sounds like... It sounds like maybe um, they have to go through it. I don't know. It's hard to tell without more details um, in regards to, like, what tech they actually have. Um, uh, I don't know. Destroyer bots, maybe? Some sort of combat robots? Like... You could turret push this, it'd be really slow going, but that may be one of the safer options. Um, yeah, I mean, you probably would just want to wait till artillery or nukes, but where the troop in school of diplomatic tact comes in. <laughs> what you do is get shiny game rocks, refine them into bargaining tools during negotiations for more land from the natives. Yes. Green rockets are eco-friendly. There you go. <laughs> exactly. Like the French, I also like to have uses empty space that screams wealth. <laughs> I get empty space is significantly more useful than full space. With empty space, you can do anything with filled space that has but one purpose. I mean, I guess so. <laughs> Interesting way to look at it, but two hours into a new save, I feel like we're doing things right this time. Hmm. This is always going to bug me. Like, it doesn't hurt anything really, but it just bugs me doing the one lane into, into well, in this case, eight lanes. Um, again, like, I don't think there's a wrong way to play. Like, I'm not saying this is, like, bad. It just personally bugs me. Um, obviously, once you expand more small spell, spell you can just tie them in as needed, but um, filling all these lanes with just one lane seems kind of pointless right now. Yes, <laughs> this person basically said what I was thinking. Um, so th they say they are just future proofing, which is totally fine. Uh, but yeah, it's a splitter, not a multiplier. <laughs> the one I figured out how power works. Vroomp. <laughs> yep, that's uh, kind of how it goes. I think that's how it kind of went for me. Um, what it was you figured out. So they spent like 30 hours just making really inefficient power plants like one pump to one boiler to one steam generator. Then I saw someone else's plan. It was like, how the F does this guy have so many engines? And I looked up the correct ratio and face palmed. Yeah, whoops. To be fair, the game doesn't really give that much of a good indication to the ratios. Like, it shows the numbers of, like, how much steam produced and stuff. So you could just do the math. But when you're new to the game, typically you don't really think to do that. You don't think to look and be like, oh, well, this makes this much steam, which... This consumes and then do the math, which, I mean, it's not hard math, but, like, when you're new to the game and overwhelmed by everything, that's usually not the type of thing you're thinking. Um, I didn't know how to use rail signals properly yet, so I just let my rails cross each other. <laughs> Sounds like me. Uh, thinking the chances of a crash is slim. A few hours later, this happened. I can't believe that they didn't destroy each other. Instead, they got stuck together. Um, this is pretty rare, I think for it to happen that way. I mean, I've seen it, but first rule factorial rail systems, whatever can go wrong, it will go wrong. That is, can't be more true. Um, I don't know what this is, but 
good station for ethereal chain look like a troopin video potentially or a arrow arrow my gluteus um video is this good progress for five hours i'm new to the game honestly pretty decent for five hours yeah like when you're trying to figure everything else out not bad definitely not bad patrick grow if yes good if no you need more iron plates I think he still need more iron plates, even if the factory did grow. Not a roundabout intersection that l looks and acts like one. Interesting. So, yeah, I guess it. It's not technically. My experience was signaling, but by no means an expert. And always wanted to learn new tech. What is your logic behind stacking rail signals on the other straights? exits oh this so it just lets the trains move through faster so that like the second the back of the tra train in front moves past one signal the other train can just kind of just be right on his butt help with power my accumulators always die at night what gives um probably you just need more power in general so you like need more solar to charge more accumulators which you need to power stuff all the way through the night I would I would say that that's probably the answer. I was sad because I thought I ought to remove it, but managed to find a way. Ooh, nice! Until you figure out you need to expand even farther, and then you're gonna have to mess up your bus spacing or get rid of it. But uh, I mean, it looks like they're expanding downwards. But still, it could be possible. I never even considered doing this. It's been such a how it might destroy it immediately after spawning. <laughs> I actually usually leave mine as well for at least a while until it gets really in the way. Made my first nuclear power plant. I'm very pleased with how it looks. Man, you and me both. This is sweet. I mean, the squigglies here are probably not too efficient for heat, but if it works, this looks fantastic. This is actually one of my favorite looking ones, I, I think. This is super nice looking. Version 4 of my 4-way left-hand drive intersection is finally here, now with... The new technology of turning around. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more unsure I am of what I created. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Oh, now this is intriguing. Okay, so it can turn around if it wants. Don't know that it would really, how often you would need to, but it looks like it was something that would trigger a budget movie trilogy. <laughs> yeah, it, it does a little bit, huh? I like this better. Wait. What? Wait, hold on. What's the difference? I'm an idiot. I don't see a difference. Or, yeah, I don't really see a difference. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, is this train crossing correctly signaled? Mm. No? Well, if this is only one way, yes. But if they plan to have a train come back this way, then they need signals on the other side. But yes, in terms of like chain signal and then normal signal, that is correct. I think I may have to retire this factory. 2,700 science per minute bomb factory. Holy shit. As you can see from the video here, FPS UPS isn't great. <laughs> I wouldn't think so. Are you right in your head? Here I'm showing with 90. Once you have the 90 up <laughs> and running reliably, you just have to copy paste it 300 times. Yeah, see? Easy peasy, right? Wait, what video? 7 to 8 FPS. Oof! That's rough. 6,800 robot ports, 150k robots, 229 gigawatt power that's nuts i feel like there's some optimizations that could be done in there but damn always enjoy watching the artillery upgrade finish <laughs> ah yes you hit when the upgrade hits and then a few seconds later your game lags and everything fires at once knock knock knocking on fighter's door <laughs> yes why worry about ratios when the answer is always the base must grow oh dude this is sweet this is really cool 
I think I've seen like the circular science info like this before, but I'm, I'm not really sure. I've seen it quite like this. This is really cool. I like that a lot. Always sort of been my attitude with it. They don't care about mathematics of out. I just whack a mobile bottleneck so I realize it's tomorrow I need to go to work and then do it all over. Yeah. That is an option for sure. It took me over 350 hours, but I finally been getting my way out of space exploration. That is some serious spaghetti. I'm actually impressed that they got everything in this area because I was struggling really bad with space exploration with like actually fitting everything on my space platform, which was about the size of this looks like. And here's their spaceship. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Look at all those engines. Yeah, it is... Um, so I would agree with this. They say, uh, the negative, their main main negative about the mid game building in the four tiers of color science takes a lot of time without bringing any interesting, anything interesting other than more wacky and expensive ingredients, which is kind of what I came figured, like came across. And that's why I just kind of quit like after it, after I did, I think the initial four colored ones or three, I don't remember how many they are introducing a perfectly all right, steam engine control system that has no issues. Is this sarcastic? I no, I don't think it is, but he's an RS latch. Looks like my heart rate monitor when I go turret creeping. <laughs> Looks like my heart rate monitor when I'm anywhere near rails. My Mark 3.1 wall blueprints and logistics. Construction service station. Oh man, this is sweet. Construction train arrives. These are some seriously nifty looking blueprints right here. Maintenance train. So many bugs. But it's holding them back really well. Dang. Well done. Playing multiplayer would be like... The hell was I doing with this splitter? Yeah, <laughs> it's just like in single player. You can connect express belts to the logistics network. Um, I think you can connect. Wait, what? Are you sure? I think they mean circuit network and you can do that with all belts. Or am I, did I just learn something new? I don't understand, why would you connect a belt to the logistics network? I'm confused. Is this a thing? Wait, for real you can do this with belts? I am so confused, is this actually a thing? Okay, so no, they do know about wires. Or go wireless your bot inventory. Okay, that's crazy. I didn't even know that. Today I learned. Maybe today we most of us learned. Or I'm just dumb. Beat the actual game to learn how to beat the tutorial mode. <laughs> oh, it feels bad, bad. I'm a new this game with only 70 hours of gameplay on it so far. In the beginning, I played a tutorial missions from 1 to 4 and had lots of fun learning the game. Then I went to tutorial mission 5 and was promptly overwhelmed with all the buyers and what mission needed me to do. I said to myself, I'm going to come back to this mission later. I need to up my basics first. All right, six hours later, a few minutes ago, I lost my first ride on free play in default settings. And now I feel confident enough to go back to the tutorial. <laughs> this is like the irony. <laughs> um, which, honestly, I would say indicates a problem with tutorial five um that they literally just went and beat what i would consider the main game in order to be able to beat the tutorial <laughs> um but yeah i mean it seems like other people agree with this as well like ant watching ants work ah yes it really is these poor bots, I feel bad for them. Not really, though. Splitter Madness Mega Base 1K Science Per Minute Optimized Version. 
Oh man, this thing is nuts looking. Uh, I don't. Okay, goodbye. I was gonna say I wonder if this is all splitters, and I just answered my own question in a very horrifying manner. <laughs> like, okay, I'm not a fan. Congrats to this person. Well done for getting this completed, but this drives me nuts. Ooh, and we end, well, almost end with a fantastic looking fan art from Hydebore, of course. Vectorio. <laughs> I like it. Build a foundry that looks like he's got nothing done. Yeah. <laughs> They're just debating over stuff. For the most part, there is really no wrong way to play Factorio in a vision, maybe, but not wrong. Uh, yeah, I would say so. Wrong way to play is to not play the game at all. <laughs> also, probably correct. So what do my fellow engineers think about deforestation? Uh, all I know is I want this tank. I think I actually spotlighted the mod that this tank is in. This is... The damage numbers make it so much more satisfying. To me, at least. It's like part of what I love about playing, like, ARPGs and stuff. It's just the damage. The damage number and flashy graphics and stuff. I love it. Too slow, bring out the nukes. Very true. Alright, I think this is going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did a like, it's also appreciated. Uh, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe to keep up with all future content. And uh, turn on that bell notification. And uh, until next time, I look forward to seeing you all. And do take care.